Hello and welcome to a quick video on how to use the Operation Trebuchet HUD system. The first thing to note about the HUD system is it's dependent upon in-game items. So in the case of the ODST and ONI, the HUD is available if you're wearing the helmet. In the case of the Marines and Army, they have glasses and eyepieces, which will display a different type of HUD to the ODST and ONI. In the future I also plan on adding a pilot's version, uh, maybe a few other versions like a sniper one or whatever. We'll have to see what happens. If you're wearing one of the items when you start the game, then the HUD will switch itself on automatically. If you want to switch the HUD on or off, uh, you need to press the toggle HUD on off button. By default this is the apps menu key. If you don't have an apps menu key or you don't know what the apps menu key is or you're, or you're just not happy with that key, press escape, options, controls, configure add-ons. If you don't see the configure add-ons button then you're not running CBA uh, so you'll need to go out of game and enable CBA as uh, Operation Trebuchet is reliant upon that. Once in here you'll see the switch HUD on off button. You'll also see the HUD settings menu. This is also an important one we're going to be using in a minute. The HUD toggle function next and previous. They will change the feature of the left hand display which is the one where my mouse is here. In the case of the currently displayed friend or foe radar that zooms the radar in and out. And lastly for the HUD we've got the low light toggle for the ODST, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, press OK, press continue and we're good to go. When in game, if you're in first person you'll see a full screen um, version of the HUD. If you're a third person player, when you go into third person most of the HUD element will be removed and you'll just see the left hand display. If you take the HUD item off while you're in the game, then the HUD switches itself off automatically. Pick one up. You'll have to switch it back on. Uh, it's important to note that if you're wearing two types of HUD item, for example the glasses and the helmet, then the uh, helmet will take over all the time. And that will become the dominant HUD. So let's take a look at the HUD settings menu. Uh, by default, shift apps menu, uh, whatever you've changed it to as well. Top left here we have different um, menus available. You can switch between those by clicking on them and pressing select menu. For now we'll look at the HUD system settings which is, uh, applies to all, um, all different types of your HUD. If you're wearing the ODST or the glasses, you'll also get a ODST customization or glasses customization option as well. If you're wearing the marine glasses, that's still a bit of a work in progress, and we haven't added one just yet, but it will be available in future updates. On the uh, bottom left down here, you can change the personal navigation assistant. Uh, I've just been clicking around on my map. I'll just remove these waypoints. But for the personal navigation assistant, if you click on the map a few times, you'll start to see these waypoints appear. And basically it says GPS, you can follow the route you've planned. You can also hold down Alt and then click on the map, and that'll give you a personal beacon. If you've got group objectives, they'll show as a blue um, line towards those, and you can also toggle on and off the lines you see on the map by clicking these without deleting everything. At the top here you can delete various different aspects. If you're not sure what they do, just click on this little man here and he'll tell you what to do. You can also zoom the map in and out manually with this uh, radar. Uh, settings, PMP zoom, sorry. Or you can use the toggle previous and next functionality keys which we saw in this in the control menu and you can zoom the map in and out that way as well. 
squad shoulder camera here on the right uh, you can change between different players you can also use the um, toggle previous and next to cycle between the players and you can also set in the uh, settings menu what type of view you're getting from them so we've got normal night and thermal vision you can also here turn the compass on and off and that's just a quick fix for a problem we're currently having and that is that uh, sometimes depending on your screen resolution size you won't be able to see the 3D compass or the 3D compass might be in the wrong location so you can switch that on and off on the compass itself you've got a um, rotating 3D compass which gives you the direction you're currently facing you've got a 2D direction indicator which gives you the precise bearing you're walking along and then you've got a bunch of other context dependent indicators so, uh, for example at the top here in the middle we've got an arrow pointing downwards and that's the direction that our group leader is facing if you had an arrow pointing upwards that's the direction of your next group uh, waypoint and if you had a diamond in the middle that's the direction of your currently selected um, task and again that's set by mission maker below that you've got the health bar and that will decrease when, if you're hit and in the bottom right we've got the weapon and we've got a bullet counter so if, if we fire the weapon the number of bullets on the counter will decrease next we'll look at how to customize the color of the hood and this only works currently for the glasses and the ODST. For the glasses, um, the color of the background is dependent upon what the color of the glasses you're physically wearing are. So we've got a variety of options. If you go into Arsenal, you'll be able to see that for yourself. For the ODST, uh, because it's like a projected HUD, you can actually change the color for any helmet um, at any time. So. Let's open our settings menu, select the ODST customization, press select. We've got various different um, backgrounds for the for the editor editor, uh, which could give you like for example this is a night mission, uh, snow map, <coughs> and a few other different ones. These are all from our community competition. And they're, they're in very nice looking pictures. On the bottom middle here, you've got um, an ability to change the various different displays. You've got to use a number between uh, 0 and 1. Um, so, for example, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is black. If I wanted it to be blue, you'd change the blue to 1. If you wanted it to be a combination of both colours, uh, we could do something like this. We Once you're happy with the um, colour of the text and things, just press update and you'll see everything has gone blue for me now. Changing the background colour is pretty simple, just select from a uh, variety of different ones we have. I think blue and blue probably go well together. Once you're that happy completely with the uh, with the changes, you can save your scheme or you can load a new one like I've just done there. Just type type in a unique name and then press save. You'll notice there that I didn't enter a unique name, so it says enter a valid name for this scheme. Um, so I could call it yellow yellow press save and then you can come back to that later so simple as that just click on it press the load button because I don't really want this one because um, it's just something I made in five seconds you can press delete and that gets rid of it the final thing we'll look at is the uh, other types of um, HUD that are available to you so we'll just take off the helmet 
And I'm going to just use the code to get into uh, Arsenal. Click for facewear. And then you'll see we've got the Marine eyepiece, which is just literally a uh, placeholder item right now. It doesn't uh, look particularly good because it's just literally half of the uh, Marine glasses. So for the Marine glasses we've got various different colours. Uh, remember that the background colour for the Marine glasses is dependent on the type, uh, sorry, the colour of glasses you're wearing. So if I just go for a green, which is the standard colour, and I switch the hood on now, you'll see the glasses drop down and that we've got uh, a hood available for us. Now this is where the customization comes into its own because I've got a, a number of presets here. I'm using the blue one currently uh, but I could change it just really quickly to red and then press update and you'll see everything has changed to red or I could change it to green, press update and everything's changed to the green setting I had before. Unlike the um, unlike the ODST helmets, changing the preview settings won't work uh, for changing your actual in-game uh, display. You'll need to get the different pair of glasses with the correct colour that you want on them. The editor works in exactly the same way, the saving and loading works in the same way. The last menu you've got uh, for every single HUD is the database menu and that's just because we um, were using the optray funk uh, menu for this uh, so you'll see this menu quite often and it's basically a quick way of loading a lot of menus up on the left so you'll see this this system used on the frigate eventually uh, for a frigate computer system in the database we've got a few different topic entries like I don't know, developer it's a little bit of a work in progress, not that interesting, but feel free to have a look at it in your own time.